Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Rush Roots. Today we have Paul. So why don't you tell us who you are and where you're from? Uh, well, uh, my name is Paul Cormier. Uh, I currently reside in uh, Willow Grove, which is just outside of uh, St. John, New Brunswick in Canada. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, why don't you tell us how you heard about Rush? What got you into them and what keeps you around? Tell us your Rush Roots. Well, essentially, uh, it started out uh, when I was about 91. Uh, I was 16 years old and I was into music and uh, had gotten a lot into drumming, you know, listening to drums and listening to drummers. And um, I had heard of Rush, but hadn't really kind of paid attention, to be quite honest. And um, then at one point, my uncle came over and he was a big music fan. And he said, uh, we start talking about drumming and he's like, oh, I've got a guy you got to listen to. He's like just phenomenal and he'll blow your mind. I said, eh, all right. So he gave me he says, I got two cassettes. I'll give you Rush Chronicles, which had just come out in 1990, yep. and I'll give you I'll give you Exit Stage Left. And oh, I went, nice. Okay, yeah. So he says there's a drum solo on there; it'll blow your mind. I said, "All right, fair enough." So I took it in. I put Exit Stage Left in first because I wanted to hear that drum solo, right? So of course, the first song of Exit Stage Left is Spirit of Radio, right? And that that opening riff, and I went, "Whoa, what's this?" And it it caught my attention <laughs> right away, and I was like. And I couldn't stop playing it. It was just, it just sang to me for whatever reason. And then, of course, I'm focusing on the drums and I'm just going, this guy's not human. You know, <laughs> he's just, it's, it's amazing. So then I listened to Chronicles, which is basically, you know, they're, they're I guess, their most known tracks from the, the original Rush album yeah, all the way up to Presto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I kind of got the chronological, like, okay, this is how their music evolved from the mid 70s up to the late 80s into, you know, so then I, I got hooked and then it's going to the music store and buying. And I was trying to buy the albums in chronological order so I could kind of okay. develop, develop with the band, kind of see how they evolved yeah. with the albums. Oh, right. Cool idea. And yeah. think about it. This is back in 91 pre-internet. So I really had no clue where to get information, which album came first. I'm looking at the cassette backs going, okay, this is copyright in 1976. This is 2112. Okay. So, oh, this one's 75. So this one came before, like I was trying to kind of piece it all together. <laughs> and uh, so I got all the albums and I got into drumming myself, started playing. I was like, within a month, I'm like, mom, I need to get a drum kit. She's like, what? You know, like <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a drum kit. This is like my passion. And I just, started listening to to songs and just trying to mimic neil and uh yeah so i mean that that became my now now 30 year obsession with the band right so oh yeah there you go that's yeah, awesome that's awesome yeah that's a really good that's a really good idea that's uh i think the first time we've heard that honestly uh, yeah someone you know Bye. Going in order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the well, having having listened to Chronicles, and so you get kind of like you get the progression as you listen to the Chronicles songs. You're kind of going, okay, right. Well, then I want to get the albums in the same order so I can kind of see how they progressed into yeah. their music. Because I mean, yeah, by the yeah. late '80s, they're into the synth era era and mm -hmm. stuff, and it's from the early stuff. It's completely different, but oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, great in great in its own way. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. oh yeah. So yeah, sure. that's awesome. Cool. Uh, well, all right. So why don't you tell us kind of uh, about your first Rush show, uh, first time you've seen the band live, when when, and where that was, and uh, what tour? I saw them on July 17th, 2010, on the Time Machine tour uh, in Toronto. So, of course, I okay. uh, had kind of dreamt about seeing them for years, and the opportunity never came up, didn't have the money. I mean, I'm in St. John. They never really came close to here. You're right, right. When, since no, they got true. big, you know yeah. what I mean. They did when they did tours. There was all major cities, and sure. At the time, I my my ex at the time said, you know, I saw some a commercial about it. She's like, man, pull the plug, do it. You've always wanted to do it. Just go. I'm like, all right. From the time I booked the tickets to go, and the time I went, we broke up. So I mean, I got a friend of mine to come with me, who was also into oh, music. Wow. Not a big Rush fan, but he he was into the Dream Theater, so he was into the, the progressive okay. kind okay. of rock. So he he, right. yeah, he yeah. was in, he he was into like he knew Rush was like the musicianships, right? They yeah. just they yeah. they're masters at their instruments. So he was just all about, yeah, let's go see them and we'll have a great time. So I mean, we get to the show and it started, and ironically enough, the first hung out was Spirit of Radio. 
which was the first song I had kind of connected to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I lost it. I just started bawling because I was just like, it's finally here. I've been waiting 20 years and I'm getting to see yeah. these guys live. Right. It was just, yeah. That's awesome. and I was blown away a three hour show with like a 20 yeah. minute break. I was, yeah. That's... And time machine tours. So they were starting and going back in time. Right. And they played all of moving pictures. Yeah. yeah. Which to me was a big highlight. Cause like I got some of my, some of my favorite songs on that album and, to see them play them live was just amazing so oh yeah that's so cool yeah those those, those live shows were there are, are special especially when they started doing the full evening with rush you know yeah band, right all right that was well, uh, uh, and i was i was fortunate enough also to see them on the r40 tour in boston so oh, cool. uh, oh, okay i'm glad i got yeah. to see them on their final yeah their, cur- their their curtain call i guess you could call it right yeah so, sure. yeah yeah for sure for sure yeah. All right. Well, um, what was your first favorite album and first favorite song? And did that change or evolve or is that different from your favorite album, favorite song today? Uh, definitely evolved over time. Uh, I, I debated on that one as to my first favorite song because I mean, there's so many great songs. Right. Uh, yeah. I was torn between I was torn. My, my favorite. I had to think about it. My favorite album. First album would be Permanent Waves. Um, first favorite song was a toss up between natural science and Cygnus X1 book one from a farewell oh, to Kings. Cool. Wow. Wow. The, yeah. the first time I heard Cygnus X1, I was just like, what is this? And why is this so fantastic? It just, <laughs> no, no, the hard driving, the hard driving riffs and the drumming and the complete like the space theme. And I was just like, this yeah. is so outside of what is your yeah. traditional top 40 pop stuff. Right. So, oh, yeah. It just and of course Getty's voice with those high pitched screams at the end of the song is just, you know, like they said in the you know it's the voice of an angel. You know, it was just yeah. amazing <laughs> to and so when I saw them play that song on the R forty tour, I was just so pumped. I was so excited just to hear them watch it. Nah, I mind you, he didn't sing it because he can't reach. He couldn't reach those notes. And yeah, it's crazy high. Yeah. But that was oh, yeah. my that was my first and natural science always just one of my favorites too right so sure now now i'd have to say uh my favorite album like the one that i'm kind of like always gravitating to is clockwork angels okay and uh headlong flight that opening bass riff just catches you and it's that and you're like you know get ready for a ride and that the it's just i i'll be honest for a while i had kind of gotten away from the band a little bit and towards the later albums like Vapor Trails and, and Snakes and Arrows. And then I really took the time. And honestly, after Neil passed away, I kind of went to a funk and I really got back into listening to all their, their catalog. And I took the time to listen to Snakes and Arrows and Clockwork Angels. And I'm really like appreciating yeah. the, 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 the music. It's uh, Clockwork Angels is probably the best swan song album you could have they could have done to finish their career. Yep. Oh yeah, it's, like, it's like amazing. Bar none. I mean, all yeah. the songs are really great on that. Like, I'm torn between Headlong Flight and uh, Caravan, uh, and of course, The Garden yeah. just gets me every time I hear yeah. it. So it's oh, yeah. just uh, sure. You know what? Forty years of music, yeah. and that it, it, it's just crazy. So yeah, yeah. for sure, hundred percent. All right. Well, uh, awesome, why don't you tell us where people can find you on social media? Um, specifically instagram that's where we you know primarily do our business uh you know if, yeah if, no for sure people would like to reach out and talk some rush oh to geek out on rush definitely uh well my my uh my my i guess my handle whatever you want to call it on instagram i don't i'm not on instagram a lot but it's a pgc126 so uh yeah so i mean no i'll talk with anyone uh, about rush we'll debate you know, uh, yeah, yeah. it's debate about what's the best, worst albums. I mean, you know, we can go on all day about that stuff. Right. So. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Hey, man. Well, uh, it was uh, nice having you. And um, anyone who wants to anyone watching that wants to come on and, and share their story, share their rush roots and, and kind of where their preferences were uh, when they became a fan and where they're at now. Feel free to email us uh, rush fans at rushfans.net. And uh, we will certainly have you on. So uh, again, Paul, thanks for uh, thanks for coming on. Oh, and you're everyone, very welcome. Thanks, thanks for watching. the time. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Uh, everyone watching, yeah. Take care. <laughs>